the next variation of swing is called the double swing. A couple key points to keep in mind with the double swing. First of all, if you've never used two kettlebells, it's a good idea to drop down in the size that you're using because obviously you're doubling the amount of weight that you're using and the amount of force on your body. So if you're using, say, a 53-pound kettlebell, you might want to drop down to 236 pounds until you get comfortable. Another point is that your stance has to be wider than it normally would. With one kettlebell, you can have a hip width stance and the kettlebell is going to fit nicely. With two, if you use a hip width stance, you're going to probably crack your knees open and really hurt yourself. So take a nice wide stance here. Okay? The mechanics are the same, but very important to start with some miniature swings to get used to the weight. Make sure that it's not pulling you, rather you're controlling the direction of force. So squat over the kettlebells, weight on your heels, pull the shoulders back, sit back. Inhale, exhale, pull up. And get comfortable just by doing a few mini swings. Bend and extend. Now once you have good momentum, same thing from the side view. Eyes forward, sit back, get the weight going. Once you're comfortable, and that's the double kettlebell swing.